one's first Wednesday's community poetry open mic in North Austin, hosted by Tom Woodruff. Um, I am sharing poetry like I would on the first Wednesday of the month with a lot of books around me. Uh, these are two poems from the brand new CCND book. It is the DC September 922, volume 325 issue, titled Open Your Eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. <laughs> and uh, thanks everybody that's watching this live, but I've got two pieces from performance art sections of this issue that I'd like to share with you. Uh, the first one is titled Out to the Horizon. It was written for and accepted for a book that was in, published in the UK. And uh, based on one word, you had to continue it, and I ended up making it the coolest little poem. And there are even images from my performing these poems during the show in Chicago on March 30th, I believe, of 2022. Uh, anywho, this poem is titled Out to the Horizon. Driftwood disintegrated out with the tide, let like flotsam wreckage from what we survived. Jetsam drifts to soar while we still so, so fall in love with the sea, and our essence drifts out toward the horizon until I find myself lost, wondering where that damn earth and that damn earth, that damn land is. I, I know, I know, we're 70% water, I, I, and I can feel like a, a fish, a dolphin, or even a bird, like an arctic penguin, porpoising our way through the deepest depths, for water is our essence. And too many times that ocean would call out to me, and I dove in, head first, swimming out too far, until violent waves came, crashing into me, capsizing me deep into the sea, forcing down my throat an ocean of traumas, past, present, future, until I suddenly wonder if it matters, if it rains, treading water, a, a cyclone, a hurricane, typhoon swells inside of me until water overwhelms me. I start randomly swimming, look for land, pick a direction. I try to find that edge. They say that land is vast, but this water seems endless. So I start to panic. And this is when I realize that the edge is right there. Is it dirt? Is it sand? When I finally get there, I see the wrinkles in your cupped hands, holding that water, holding that land, holding that world, and now it all suddenly comes flooding back. You saved me again, like I saved you before. Our souls intertwined. We've lived for eons, nourishing each other, from climbing the Alps to following Darwin, our back mock fry, wrought iron gates rattle in our hands. We shiver together in midnight South Pole winds, make music before the 1 a.m. Arctic Aurora Borealis. So what if armed Russian guards watched us? Don't cry for me. Throughout the hemispheres, throughout history, we step over those gold bars to emperor rooms, for as I said, we've lived for eons, nourishing each other. And now it's your turn to hold that water. Let me swim to your hands until I climb out, jump onto your earth, stand. You can then turn your hands, spill that water, and finally embrace me. Sorry, I enjoy that poem, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That was one of two poems I was going to read for you in this installment for the book reading series I do on the first Mondays and Wednesdays in honor of Tom Woodridge's Community Poetry, which is not going on right now since COVID. What a pain in the butt. But in honor of that, I would share with you one more poem that I wrote that was written after watching a movie called Patterson. You can look it up if you so choose. Uh, this poem is titled, A Jar for My Beating Heart. If I ever lost you, if you ever left me, I, I think, well, 
I think I'd tear my heart out. I think I'd take my tear my heart out so I could put it in a, a glass jar and leave it on a shelf. Wait. No. It'd be ceramic. If I put my heart away like luggage, that jar would have to be ceramic. I, I wouldn't want to see that heart. So, ceramic. It is. Because my once beating heart is only baggage on a shelf. But really, I think I'd tear out my heart and put it away because I see people every day and they all live like they have no heart. And after you're gone, I wouldn't hear my own heart beating any more. So, after you're gone, what would I need my heart for anyway? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was your second poetry installment from the CCD magazine, September 22, um, volume 325 issue, titled Open Your Eyes. I'm telling you, open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, I'll be doing readings for these two hours from 1 to 3 p.m. like um, Tom Woodruff, host of Community Poetry, would do. I hope everyone's remaining safe. I hope everyone's remaining creatively inclined. And I look forward to hearing from each and one of you very, very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.